Stormy asked Trump about his wife Melania, and Trump said, don't worry about that, we don't even sleep in the same room. So we are right in the middle of week three of Donald Trump's criminal trial, and things are getting heated. We all know that he's being accused of falsifying business records in an attempt to conceal his criminal conduct and conceal his affair with Stormy Daniels, all with the end goal of influencing the 2016 election. It actually reminds me a lot of what Nixon was accused of. Nixon tried to use fraud and bribery to conceal some of his crimes to influence the election back then. But Donald Trump had a terrible morning and it's only going to get worse as adult film actress Stormy Daniels is taking the stand to testify. And earlier this morning, Donald Trump shot off a true social post about it and subsequently deleted that post about 30 minutes later. CNN's Caitlin Collins said, Trump appears to have deleted this post complaining that his legal team didn't have time to prepare for today's witness. She saw it on Truth Social a few minutes ago, but it's gone now. And what Trump said is, I have just recently been told who the witness is today. This is unprecedented. No time for lawyers to prepare. No judge has ever run a trial in such a biased and partisan way. He is crooked and highly conflicted, even taking away my First Amendment rights. Now he's threatening me with jail, and they have no case. This is according to virtually all legal scholars and experts. Why is in the fake news media reporting his conflict. First of all, who are these legal scholars? Are you talking about Rudy Giuliani, who's in the middle of a RICO case of his own? Are you talking about John Eastman, who just got disbarred from being a lawyer for attempting to overthrow the results of the election? Are you talking about Alina Haba? Who are these legal scholars that are on your side? Secondly, he's straight up lying as always. Both sides, including the prosecution and the defense, get a list of witnesses before the trial, and they have plenty, plenty of time to prepare but Donald Trump can't help himself from rambling and raving on Truth Social. David Nelson on Twitter said, Just awful. How in the world could Trump's lawyers ever have anticipated that the prosecution would call Stormy Daniels in a case about a payment to Stormy Daniels? So unfair, incredibly unprecedented, as Donald Trump said. He also likes to always say he hires the best and brightest lawyers, but apparently they're not bright enough to prepare for the most obvious witness in the world. Kirstie tweeted out sarcastically, I agree that it is unprecedented that a central figure in a criminal prosecution would be called to testify. Has that ever even happened before? By the way, if he was just told, it's because his lawyers didn't want him to know before now. I think Donald Trump knew that Stormy Daniels would testify, but he also knows that he can create a fuss about it. He can play this up to his fans and act like he's being unfairly persecuted once again. And also, this idea that he can't talk, his First Amendment rights are being stripped away by this gag order, has been deep debunked many times. He even walked that back in front of the courthouse yesterday. It's not against your First Amendment rights to not be able to attack a judge and his family members in the middle of a trial. Donald Trump has shown a repeated pattern of not being able to hold back. He has low impulse control and can't stop himself from attacking people in the courtroom, the judge, the judge's daughter. There was even a while there in his civil trial where he was attacking the clerk next to the judge, making up rumors about who the clerk was dating. This guy is genuinely unhinged and no other defendant would be given this much leeway. Now, I'm about to play you a really funny and hypocritical clip of Donald Trump, but really quickly, Stormy Daniels has just entered the courtroom and Donald Trump is not happy. AP News reports, prosecutors in the hush money trial of former President Donald Trump have called porn actor Stormy Daniels to the witness stand. Daniels has alleged that she had a sexual encounter with Trump a decade before the 2016 presidential election. Trump has denied it. Trump stared straight forwards as Daniels entered the room, turning his head slightly in her direction as she approached the witness stand. Prosecutor Susan Hoffinger led off by asking Daniels about her upbringing in Louisiana. Daniels talked about having grown up poor and wanting to become a veterinarian. A Trump attorney asked that Daniels be barred from testifying about the details of the alleged sexual encounter. Prosecutor Susan Hoffinger said such details were relevant to her credibility but also offered reassurances that they would be really basic. Judge Mershon agreed to permit limited testimony. And Daniel's testimony, even if sanitized for a courtroom setting and stripped of all tell-all details, is by far the most awaited spectacle in a trial that is toggled between tabloid-esque elements and dry record-keeping details. Her turn on the witness stand will represent a remarkable moment legally and politically. Courtroom testimony from an adult film performer about an intimate encounter 
she says she had with a former American president adds to the long line of historic firsts in this case. Today is a historic day for all of the wrong reasons, but this also builds on the argument that it's totally absurd that Trump and his lawyers had no clue Stormy Daniels would be testifying in a case that revolves around hush money payments to Stormy Daniels. It makes zero sense at all, but then again, nothing Trump says ever makes sense. It's all absolutely incoherent. For example, take a look at this clip of Donald Trump saying that the judge was rushing this trial, it's all going too quickly, then a few days later he says it's all going too slowly, the trial should be over by now. This was put together by our friends over at Midas Touch. Play this clip. You have a judge who's totally conflicted, totally, absolutely conflicted, that he's rushing this case through. The government just said that they want two to three more weeks. That means they want to keep me off the trail for two to three more weeks. Donald Trump is an incoherent hypocrite. What's new? But I also want to provide you guys some live updates about what's happening inside the courtroom. This has all happened within the past 10 minutes. So according to MidasTouch.com, Stormy Daniels was then called to the stand. Prosecutor Susan Hoffinger conducted the direct examination. She described being raised in a strict Christian home but being abandoned by her mother. She began exotic dancing at age 17 and then started nude modeling at age 21 and got into the adult film industry at 23. She said that she first met Trump at a celebrity golf tournament in 2006 at Lake Tahoe when the company she worked for, Wicked Entertainment, was sponsoring one of the holes. She said their meeting was very brief and she posed for some pictures with him. She said she didn't know Trump's age but knew he was old, older than my father. Stormy Daniels was 27 and Trump was 60. She said she recognized him from his appearances at wrestling events that were televised and he asked her about her movies. Daniels then identified the famous picture she took with Trump on the course. The picture's on the screen now. Now. Stormy said that Trump then whispered something to his bodyguard, Keith Schiller, who then approached her and asked her to have dinner with Trump. She initially said, F no, but they exchanged phone numbers. She said her publicist later told her that she should go have dinner with Trump, telling her what could possibly go wrong. That statement is aged incredibly poorly. She then went to have dinner with him at the Haras. She said that when she arrived, Schiller met her at the door of Trump's suite and told her how nice she looked. Daniel said she was led into a room and Trump was wearing silk pajamas, which she then started making fun of him for wearing, asking him if he stole Hugh Hefner's pajamas. He then left and came back in a dress shirt and pants. She said that she thought they were going to go downstairs for dinner in the hotel restaurant, but Trump told her it was too early, so they sat down at the table of the suite to talk. She said that Trump asked her how she got into the adult entertainment industry and about her films. She said that Trump was most interested in the business aspects of the porn industry, such as how much she got paid, whether they had unions, how often they were tested for STDs. She told him that she never tested positive and that she watched a lot of wrestling growing up and Trump told her he was friends with WWE CEO Vince McMahon. Stormy asked Trump about his wife Melania and Trump said, don't worry about that. We don't even sleep in the same room. That's all we have for now, so I'll leave it at that. But if you want continuous live updates throughout the day, just go to MidasTouch.com and click on their Stormy Daniels article. My name is Adam Mockler. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment a blue heart, subscribe. Most importantly, have a great Tuesday, everyone.